Hi guys, I'm Ellie. Welcome back to Pampered and Polish. Today I'm going to be showing you a really cute pineapple design. I'm going to insert a picture here for you guys so you can get a better look. If you want to see how to achieve this look, then please stick around. So as always, you want to start out with your favorite base coat and then you want to pick your base color. Today I'm using Turned Up Turquoise from China Glaze, but this will look great with a ton of different colors, pink, green, whatever you want. I do want to quickly mention that I did use three different paint brushes in this video, all of which I trimmed myself. If you guys want to see a video with more detailed information about that, please leave a comment down below. From here, you're going to go in with the first color, and it's going to be a yellow. I'm using an acrylic paint, but any yellow polish will do. And, of course, I made a mess. Then I'm going to go in with the thickest paintbrush of the three and do the outline of the base of the, the pineapple. It's going to be an oval shape. It's going to be bigger at the bottom, and at the very top, I'm leaving a kind of cutout of where the top of the pineapple is going to be. You want to make sure to make that opaque. And from there, I'm going to go in with a green color and start on the top of the pineapples. The green color that I'm using here is Essie's Mojito Madness. And you're basically going to be creating almost like leaves. So you would be doing two strokes and connecting them. You're going to do this for all three of the pineapples and just take your time with it. You can also use a striper brush. That's a great idea if you don't have a paintbrush and you happen to have another striper around, you can use that. Then I'm going to go in with a brown paint and I'm using an acrylic paint and I'm creating more definition in the actual pineapple itself. And I'm just doing kind of not stripes, they're, they have more of an angle to them, and I'm crisscrossing them to create the pattern. From there, I'm going to go in with a lighter green just to give a little bit of an accent to the top portion. The green that I'm using here is a color club, and it's in the color Twiggy. And basically, I'm just doing a couple of little highlights on each one. Then the final step in this design is going to be to outline the pineapples. The reason that I'm doing that is because it just really makes them stick out. As you can see, I'm using a really thin paintbrush here. I cut this down a bunch until I got it to that shape and size, and it's just what I have found works best for me. So you're going to want to be really careful with this part. It's easy to mess up. As you're going to see, even I'm going to mess up here. And just keep going, outlining the entire pineapple. As you see right there, I smudged the black. But the good thing about this is that you can always go back in with the base color and cover that up. And there, you're pretty much done. From there, you're just going to want to go ahead and use your favorite top coat. And you've got your pineapple nails. Alright guys, there you have it. I hope that tutorial was helpful and I hope you try it out for the summer. When I had these nails on a few weeks ago, I got a bunch of compliments on them. So I hope that they get you the same result. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave a comment down below. And also follow me on my other social medias, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. All the links will be down below. I'll see you guys next time.